Hello everybody, this is EY Stream, and today I'll be showing you how you can use and edit the new 3D titles for Final Cut Pro X. Now, I've got a nice little background image here, as you can see. I'll just go ahead and show you. Normal background image. What you want to come to do is come to text here and click 3D. So we're going to start with just regular 3D titles. And we've got basic 3D, custom 3D, fade 3D, lower third 3D, rotate 3D, scale 3D, text spacing 3D, and tumble 3D. Now we want to come, we'll start with just a basic 3D here, and I'll show you the basic ways to edit these. Come into here. So as you can see, just holding it, move it like you normally would. If we click here, you can see we've got the motion uh, ways, move it forward, move it backward, move it sideways, up and down. So we've got the motion controls here. Now, if you don't know motion five, basically the blue one is forward and backward, green is up and down, and uh, these ones here allow you to turn like such, as you can see, and that's up and down, sideways, and uh, around. So those are the motion controls there. Now the next thing we've got to come up to here, we can edit the text here. I'll just put in EY stream for now. And then from here we can change the font and the uh, size. And we can also come to 3D styles and get pre-made 3D styles here. So we'll just try out one. We'll try out Metropolitan. As you can see, uh, pre-made 3D styles. We're just going to go back to basic 3D so we can do easy editing, vertical, all this kind of stuff. We've got advanced, so line spacing, tracking, baseline, all that kind of stuff. We come into 3D text here. We can change the depth. We can do uh, where it's coming, so backwards, forward, or centered, which is my favorite. We can do weight or how thick the text is. Uh, we can do bevel, round, double round, ridge, all these different settings. Just go ahead, we'll do a, we'll go a round one. That looks nice. And then we'll do, so we can also do front edge size. So that's how much you've got the bevel on. The back edge, uh, we'll go groove. Um, inner corners can be straight, midder, or round. And we'll come down. Then we have lighting, which is an interesting thing. We can do um, above. So as you can see, it changes where the light is. We can go, where's lighting? We can go... We can go medium right and different settings, so we'll go drama top left, and as you can see, it's a really cool feature which normally you only get in motion backlit, which looks cool as well, and we'll just keep it at uh, medium center for now. Now what we'll do is we can do self shadows, which we can turn off and on, as you can see self shadows are more realistic and environment allows you to change depending. So if we come on here. We've got the four sets, so it can be multiple materials or single materials. We'll start with single. And as you can see, we've got f concrete, fabrics, grunge, metal, miscellaneous, paint, paper, plaster, plastic, stone, and wood. So we've got a lot of things here. And then we can all we'll just change it to something like, let's go, metal. No, I don't like the metal. We'll go, we'll go something nice like this ash wood here. Okay, you can see that's changed. Now we can do multiple. And as you can see, we can go front. We can edit the side, the front, the back, and the back edge. And then we come down here. I'm just going to change this back to... And also we can change the grain depth here for wood, as you can see. So depending on how... Depending on what you like. And I'm going to change this back to the generic one. Uh, where we go? Here we go. All right, we'll keep it at that for now. As we go single again. All right, and we'll move it back to your basic. All right, so we're back to where we started, as you can see. And we'll scroll down some more. We can turn on glow. We'll go ahead and turn glow on. Open that up. And uh, we'll, we can turn on the opacity of the glow. We can do the blur, the radius, how big it is, how much it surrounds it. We can change the color as well. We'll keep it that. That looks nice come down some more uh, we've got the drop shadow which is a cool feature to, that can use to make it look more three-dimensional uh, scroll down and we can choose the color of the drop shadow the distance in front of it. so you can see there that that's a really obvious drop shadow we'll just put it there for now we can choose the blur um, the opacity here we'll go with that opacity that looks good uh, the angle in which it's put at so we can put it like there around the side as you can see and obviously the color can also be changed to whatever suits your fancy 
So that's just editing basic here. We'll go into video, we can change the effects, transform, crop, distort, and we'll go ahead and find the custom one. So what I just did then can be used basic, fade, lower third, rotate, scale, text spacing, and tumble, all of them work. So I'll give you a fade, fades in, lower third comes here, rotate, rotates, scale comes out like that, text spacing is like that, and tumble comes in and then goes out like that. Now custom here, uh, is basically you edit it for you so we come into effects and transform and you can edit it from there and Also, so the idea with custom is you can go ahead click it and Transform it yourself as you can see with the motion controls and then with all the stuff that I've just taught you now The next thing that's been introduced to the new Final Cut Pro is 3d cinematic titles and these are things like this graphical shadow and trailer. Now these are all really cool, but have some different uh, uh, ways to edit them. So we'll go ahead and open this up. And so as you can see, we've got this come here. We'll change this to EY stream. And here we've got the font, depth, weight, uh, all these different things that we had previously. We've got four sets. We can do single, multiple, but then we've got paint, which can be done reflectively. So this is for that. Um, we'll just change it to basic, see what it looks like in basic. We can also change the type here, which I didn't show you before. You can do textured, and you can also do shiny, as you can see. Glow, drop shadow as well. Uh, you can also change the 3D styles to whatever you want. Chrome, see what that makes it look like. All right, we can see there. Uh, okay, and you've got the same settings as the other one for video as well. You change the opacity of it, whatever you like. Now, this works the same with all the other ones, uh, including trailer and shadow, but with the graphical one, you've also got the subtitle. So both of these can be edited separately, but the top one isn't actually a 3D one. And what you can do is actually change 2D titles into 3D titles by choosing 3D title uh, uh, styles. So come over here, we'll just go all, and we'll choose something like uh, assembler. And we'll go ahead and open that up replace now the idea is you'll be able to turn this into a 3d title pretty easily by just going from normal go to 3d styles and choose something like I don't know flat graphic and now we have three titles we'll just change the size here and suddenly you have 3d titles but obviously it's not gonna work well with this one I'll just show you with a different one just a normal custom one okay go ahead open it once again, you change the style, blue plastic this time, and you can turn it into a 3D title. So that is using and editing 3D titles in the new Final Cut Pro X. I hope this video did help, and until next time, EY Stream out. Bye.